You know, we all have our moments, our moments of defiance, our moments of anger and tilt, and our moments of not caring, that's only natural. And to say that when I streamed the other day I was merely tilted would be an understatement. I mean, that is nothing new at this point. However, I have come to think that with all the things that I do wrong and all the things I see others do wrong, we would probably all have a more pleasant experience if we just adhere to a basic set of rules. Naturally, I'm not expecting anyone to actually do that. This video is just kinda like you know, an optimistic way of looking at it. That if we all follow these rules, maybe, just maybe, ranked would not be that frustrating for all of us to deal with. But even outside of ranked play, most of these things still apply for quick play too. So let's just quickly go through these 10 rules I came up with, along with some quick explanations for why they are in here. Number one, have mains, but don't be a one trick. Always betaing yourself into letting your teammates choose first and then just filling the comp puts you at the mercy of their own judgment. That means you will only win the game when the rest of your team is doing well. Having a few main heroes you are really good on allows you to pull off that extra bit of performance you need to win more difficult matchups. But you should still be able to flex play onto most of the other heroes to make sure you can flexibly react to matchmaking hiccups where you might end up with too many support players on your team. One tricking will cause you to lose a bunch of games you could have easily won if you just weren't so stubborn. So the magic trick here is finding the optimal balance between practicing your best heroes but knowing the basics of all of them. Number two, do not bring up gold medals. There are probably around 8.5 million videos out there by now talking about why gold medals are a massive meme. They can easily be misinterpreted and are often only used to find a scapegoat while pushing away any responsibility from the ones starting to argue in favor of them. Do not bring up gold medals. If something is not working, talk it over with your team in a reasonable manner. Number three, don't bring up win percentage in solo queue. Kinda falls into the same vein as the previous point. It's a meme. You are not responsible for your win rate alone. How often do we run into players purposefully throwing games or players disconnecting? When I see some guy that barely scratched Grandmaster starting to argue with a multi-season top 500 player about wanting to have Genji because his win rate is low this season, I honestly start losing faith in this community. I have a 100% win rate on Sombra because I only play her on maps that favor her, but that does not mean I am a god Sombra player. And that sure as hell does not mean that I should be playing Sombra over somebody who is a top 500 Sombra player. Number four, join voice chat. I don't care how introverted you are and how much you think that playing without voice chat helps you perform better. This is a team-based game. A team that actively communicates will always have the edge against one that doesn't. And I do include myself in that as well. I know it's annoying at times, guys. I really do. But if we don't want to communicate with our team in a team-based game, maybe we should not be playing a team-based game competitively. Number five, keep your whining to yourself. If you have nothing useful to say, just don't say anything. Pointing out a misplay, getting whiny and complaining 24-7 has never made somebody play better who was previously underperforming. No, you're not pointing out their mistakes for them to improve on them. Chances of you ever running into them again are very slim. You're just looking for an excuse to justify your own trash behavior. If you can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. Don't play when you're tilted and shut your mouth if you have nothing useful to say. Number six, use your resources wisely. Managing your resources is a core component of competitive play in Overwatch. Think carefully before you pull out your Dragon Blade in a 1v6 when you have 95% on the capture point anyway. Using a disposable ultimate that charges quickly to stagger someone is very often worth it, whereas using it to try and be a hero in a teamfight that is very obviously lost is a terrible idea. Always keep in mind what your enemies might do next and use your ultimates and regular abilities accordingly. Number seven, do not be a meta slave. Honestly, the lower you find yourself on ladder, the less you have to care about any sort of meta play. Sure, high ranked players like to try and mimic what the pros are doing in their tournaments, and being aware of which heroes are popular at any given point in time is very useful. But meta playing only makes sense if you have reached a level of mastery that makes min maxing viable. A team that tries to pull off a meta comp without bringing the skill to back it up will always lose to a team that plays their strongest heroes really well, so don't force people into roles that they are uncomfortable with. Number eight, do your job. And if you cannot do your job, ask for a swap. Bad aim day is a thing for all of us. If you have the feeling that you're not doing well, ask your team if somebody wants to take your spot. It does not matter how you win as long as you do win in a legal way, of course. Number nine, never stand still. One thing you will notice in pro tournaments is that players never fully stand still unless they literally just annihilated the entirety of the enemy team. And there is good reason for that. Make yourself as difficult to hit as possible. If you cannot land a shot without standing still, don't play a character that relies on aim because you're not doing yourself a favor. Move as unpredictably as possible whenever you can to make yourself a difficult target to hit. 
And lastly, number 10, do not play Overwatch if you don't want to be part of a team. Overwatch in its core is a team-based game. You will not be able to carry, you will not be able to win all on your own. You will have bad luck with teammates and you will lose matches without any fault of your own. And you will get frustrated at times. But that is the experience we all have signed up for when we decide to queue up for competitive. We win together and we lose together and that is all there is to it. And this wraps up my 10 rules of Overwatch. I can only imagine the amount of baby rage coming at me. But hey, I felt this needed to be said, and if not for anyone else, at least for myself. What you want to do with this now is obviously up to you. But this is me done for the day, so thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like on your way out if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I hope to see you all next time.